Life is short. I suggest Jesus. Love everybody. If you want to do something, do it now. Page 694 of the Peace of Mind movement. Today's question is... What advice would you give to someone who wants to change his life? To change his life? Start with small things because otherwise it's overwhelming. So just start with the small things and be proud of the small things. Try to find something interesting to make your life be better than it is at the moment you... Keep on going. Like, trust you. <laughs> so don't care what people think, just to live and do what they feel and follow their heart. It's, it's beautiful, that's a because good advice. Because life is short and you don't know, like... True. Define exactly the life that you want and then write down who you have to become and what kind of thoughts you have to hold in your mind in order to attract this new life. Just do it. Just don't be afraid and go for it. Like, you know, life is too short. So if you don't have any... If you're stuck, you know, just think about how you could just move one step forward and then the other one will follow. To do what he loved the most, his passion just to get out there and take risk. I love that. You good? Yeah, thank you. Take care. Thank you, you too. I suggest Jesus. He helps, really. He helped me um, to feel closer to God if you believe in God. Or... Don't be afraid of uh, trying new stuff. You never know what you're going to like, so go for it. <laughs> go. Don't wait or whatever, that you lose weight or whatever, that you a certain age. If you want to do something, do it now. Don't waste your time. Make mistakes. That would be the path to learn. Yeah, like be a, be a dumb idiot too. Right. And learn from, uh, learn from there. Thank you, my friend. It's nice seeing you. I love that. That's thanks, great. Thanks. I can say that now that I'm 66. <laughs> no way, you don't look oh, 66. Oh, yes, I'm no. 66. <laughs> but uh, yeah, do whatever you want to do, do it. Don't wait for whatever. Mm, I'm always worrying about what people will think about me. And then I'm home and I'm like, oh, I should have done this. I should have do this, whatever. And I see people doing the things that I want to do and no one cares. And I'm like, mm. Might as well. Yeah, so. But I'm trying to do that. For it. As myself, so it's hard, but you know, because we humans sometimes are scared about doing a lot of things. But I think by time it will come. Don't stay in your comfort zone if you want to change your life for a better one. So you need to move. I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself to accomplish big things and it makes my life better to appreciate when I accomplish small things. Uh, once you want to change something, it's better to ask people because they have experience what maybe you are trying to do. And instead of just trying to do it by yourself, and you can ask help from somebody and they can walk you through and you can reduce the time you have to spend to do the same thing. Love everybody, love yourself and do what is the good for this world. The quote of the day is from the book As a Man Think by James Allen, chapter 2. And it says, Our mind is like a garden, and whether we take good care of it or let it run wild, in both cases it will produce something. So it's your choice with your thoughts to grow either flowers or weed.